What's up y'all? Welcome back in the shop. I got another series of my tow truck build. It's part three. And uh, if you haven't seen any of the other ones, go back on my channel and look, part one and two. It's uh, really coming together. I, I couldn't be happy. We're happier with how this is coming together. And uh, a lot of welding, a lot of cutting. Man, I've been having a blast and uh, it's coming together really nice. Super happy with it. And uh, I'd really enjoy getting on here and showing y'all what I'm putting together and different things. And I hope y'all can learn something. And uh, if you're not already subscribed or following uh, on Facebook or YouTube, don't miss out. Get on there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe on YouTube, hit that follow on Facebook, whichever platform you're on, and uh, all that good stuff. And let's get into it here. All right, this is what we got. This is the T-bar portion, what I've been focusing on mostly. And uh, last time I showed just the main bar here in the center hitch part. And I think I had one pivot arm on it. Now I got both of them. I got the double action part. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of go through and show the details of how I put this together. And uh, this is built completely from scratch. I've looked at a few uh, I go through Google Images, just kind of get an idea of what some of them look like, and uh, kind of put my own twist on things and uh, modify where I want to and change it to match my materials I have, because as you can see, all this is used steel. And uh, I just make it work, and uh, I have a lot of fun doing it, and uh, I hope you learn something watching all these and spark a few ideas in your own mind. And, uh, and yeah, it's a... Uh, I'm really happy with it. So this is the arm built out of two inch box steel. You've got the grease zerk in there, all welded up. You can see the welds and everything there. Pivot point is just a half inch bolt. Threads down inside here. And this piece right here is actually tapped. So you screw the bolt in and tighten this on as like a jam lock nut. And uh, that's how that is secured and won't make sure it won't ever screw out i may put a keeper or something to keep that from rotating and coming loose but i don't really think i need to so we got that i'll cut these off that was not cut off in the last video make that all flush so i mean it's all smooth here for your tire uh this right here is spring loaded as you can see uh, and reason being is so it can close all the way up and how this works they got a little roller here on the back that's gonna have a small hole drilled in it for lubrication purposes can't really put a grease zerk in that so that's gonna have a little hole maybe I use an injection needle to put some grease to keep it lubricated just a little bit not as much lubrication needed because not a lot of force on that but how this works is the cylinder there as it pushes it the roller comes and hits this little piece here. Let's see how this kind of works. And uh, pushes in here. Springs are pretty strong. But uh, folds completely up like that when the cylinder is maxed out. And then as it goes the other way, roller rolls around, unfolds like that, and opens all the way up. So really kind of unique as far as how I built that. I've never seen one quite like it. Uh, the spring loaded feature is going to be pretty hard to see. If you can really see in there. Let me uh, shine in from the other end of the flashlight. We can see it a little better. So you can see there's two springs in there. It's not really going to focus because of the way this is here. Two springs, those are trampoline springs. They fit on that shaft right there, which is on that bolt. Those springs come up to here, and there's a pivot point on the back of this, and almost like a little bitty hinge. The springs hook to the hinge, so as it rotates, that hinge stays straight with the springs and always pulls tension towards the back of that bolt to keep it sprung. 
Uh, I got the hitch in here so I can still pull the trailer once this is all mounted up on my truck. It is removable. I'm probably gonna take a ball and chop the threads off so, and weld it in a hitch so I can leave it in. It's The clearance is gonna be small enough. I'm not sure yet on that. Uh, I got these welded on here. These are some decent quality high, car high carbon steel. So uh, they should never bend or break or anything. And uh, got the pivot point here, grade eight, three quarter bolt. Got the gray circ here, bronze oil light bushings in there. Got the cylinder here, which is not hooked up to any fluid, obviously not yet. Uh, pivot point, and these are tapped into here just like on the other ones. I'm gonna put a jam nut to keep the bolt from screwing out. Gonna do the same thing with this one, except the jam nut is gonna be on the top side on this one because there's not enough clearance down here. That bolt's gonna get chopped off flush and it's gonna have a locking keeper on here with a bolt to hold that from rotating loose. Uh, gonna put a gray circ in the end of here. It's low tension and just steel on steel. So I'm just gonna put a zerk for minimal wear on that. And uh, this right here is extra long because it's going to be a stop. So there's gonna be two of them, one for each side on the cylinder. And the pivot point's gonna be in the middle. So when it rotates, this is gonna hit the main boom at nah, probably like an 80 degree angle. Uh, that's the way the cylinder is protected. It won't hit the boom or anything like that. Just metal on metal, good solid stop there. That's why that's a little extra long. I'm probably gonna have to trim this slightly so it mashes up quite like I want it to. But uh, we're gonna see here. And this is the same way. I haven't yet got the cylinder put on this side. And uh, hinges, got the bronze oil light bushings. And this is spring loaded. Same way, got the grease dirk in it. And uh, yeah, it's all coming together pretty well. Kind of see, there's the other cylinder right there. My pumps, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah. Let me know what y'all think. Hit me up in the comments. And uh, I'm going to keep on building. There's going to be quite a few more segments to this series. But uh, I'm really happy with how it's coming together. And uh, just let me know what you think. If you have any ideas. That's what the comment section's for. Thank you for watching. Until next time.